manuscript. Page one. Manuscript. Tab. Totally artificial beverage. If you want to be a poet, follow these simple precepts. Forget originality. Forget beauty. Jettison onomatopoeia. Cease the use of multisyllabic words and the shoehorn. Wedge them into your poems all neat like. Forget forget the flowers. Forget your under get it! Forget about wiping that out of your mind. Wipe off the stains left by confession or biography. Love. Cinema verite. Found poetry. Galah. Lark. Leave political pet peeves. 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 And all the cardboard walls of soapboxing. Forget shadowboxing. Grandstanding. Posturing. And rallying. Enough! Put down your fountain pens. And you better be writing with a fountain pen. Forget the Bic. Crystal stick. Which is more expensive than the... Crick municipal yellow stick. When I say crick, I mean bick. The manuscript. List poems are retired. I have some thick books that I would like to carry around and read, but I avoid the commitment. Kenneth Koch's long poems, Finnegan's Wake, Men at War, the Sagas of Icelanders, Writer's Diary, Autobiography of Rear Admiral Charles Wilkes, U.S. Navy, 1798 to 1877, Gargantua and Pe Everyman Edition, Tristram Shandy, Sunflower Splendor, 18th Century English Poetry and pr To prove to you that I'm not a narcissist, but rather enthusiastic, I will now list some thick books that don't exist, but I wish that they did exist so that I could carry them around. Ransacking the Fourth Dimension and Other Ill-Conceived Activities. More Men at War. Foucault's Lost Comic Strips, Volume 5, Mitzi Poodle Alexander, Archive Edition. The Complete C.S. Lewis slash H.P. Lovecraft Collaborative Texts. Keith Gustad informs me that none of this is a poem because it's mostly in italics. To the manuscript. Raise your right hands and repeat after me. Five. Five.